Hello class, my name is Uche Martins. Welcome to Basic Science and Technology class. Today we'll be treating the topic Belt and Chain Drives Part 1 with the team Tools, Machines and Processes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand drive mechanism describe belt drives, explain the principle of belt drives, state the advantages and disadvantages of belt drives. What is a drive mechanism? A drive mechanism has to do with transmitting of power or energy from one point to another without a change in the amount of power transfer. Now, a drive mechanism is any process that involves the transfer of mechanical power or energy from one point to another without any reduction in power. Drive mechanism is classified into two major forms, which is our belt and chain drives. Belt and chain drives are two major classes of a drive mechanism. What do we understand by a belt drive? The transmitting of power using belt is a belt drive. A belt drive is a loop of flexible material used to connect two or more rotating pulleys. It is used to transfer power from one pulley to another. Now this image is showing a belt drive. This is a pulley, this is another pulley, this is your belt. Now, there is a transfer of power and energy from this pulley to this other pulley. That is a full description of a belt drive. Belt drive is made up of two major units, which is our pulley or our wheel or the belt. The typical belt drive is made up of two components, the pulley or wheel. This is the pulley or wheel. And also the belt. This is the belt. The pulley is the wheel on which a belt runs. Like you can see from this diagram, the belt is running through the pulley. The belt is a loop material, especially rubber, fabrics, nylon, and leather used in connecting two or more pulley or wheel. That is, your belt can be made of fabrics, can be made of rubber, and also nylon. Why the wheel or pulley where the power is taken to is what we refer to as our driven wheel. There are different types of belt drive. We have our flat belt drive and also our compound belt drive. And they are classified according to position and shape. These classes include our flat belt drive and also our compound belt drive. Flat belt drives. These are drives that transfer power or energy from one pulley to another. In this system, the pulleys are placed parallel to each other. As this of this pulley here, you can see they are placed parallel to each other, irrespective of their sizes. And there is a transfer of power or energy from this particular pulley to this other pulley. And we have different types of flatbed drives. We have our rope drive, we have our cross bed drive, we have our V bed drive, and also our open bed drive. This is a good example of our V bed drive, and this is our cross bed drive. You can see that the belt is in a cross form. And also this is our rope belt drive and our open belt drive. Compound belt drive. 
compound belt drives transfer power or energy to more than one pulley linked together by several belts. You can see this is an image showing different pulleys here. And these pulleys are linked together by several belts. This is a typical example of a compound belt drive. In compound belt drive, the axes of the pulley are not parallel to each other and power can be transferred to any direction in the drive system. This image shows a compound bed drive. You can see this is a particular pulley. This is another one. And this is yet another pulley. And each of these pulleys are not parallel to themselves. You can see their axes are not parallel to themselves. They are placed in different positions. And they are linked together by several beds. What are the advantages of bell drive? Bell drive have several advantages. One, bell drives are simpler to handle. The cost of maintaining bell drives is low compared to chain drive. They can be used to transfer energy between long distance pulleys. They are highly efficient. Bell drives can withstand overloads. Bed drives are economical and simpler to handle. They require less maintenance costs since they do not need lubrication. That means the cost of getting lubricating oil to lubricate a belt drive is not needed. What are the disadvantages of belt drives? Bed drives can easily wear and tear if overstretched. That means if you overload it beyond this elastic limit, it can easily wear and tear. They cannot operate at high speed as heating of the machine might occur if the speed is not properly regulated. Now, heating up of the machines will definitely occur when pulley of the bed drive rotate at a very high speed. Another disadvantage of bell drive is the operating temperature is usually restricted to 35 to 85 degrees Celsius. What are the applications of bell drives? Bell drives can be applied or used in our sewing machines grinding machines used for grinding our beans or corn, load pulley system, and also our fan electric motors. You can see this is an image showing a sewing machine. This is a grinding machine and also our fan electric motor. And you can see that it is making use of what? Of a belt drive. In summary, We'll be able to understand that a drive mechanism involves transfer of power energy from one point to another without any reduction in power and also belt and chain drives are two major classes of drive mechanism we also understood that a belt drive is a loop of flexible material used to connect two or more rotating pulleys it is used to transfer power from one pulley to another. Belt drives are classified into flat and compound belt drives. Belt drives are applied in grinding machines, sewing machines, etc. Let's take some questions. Question 1. The classes of belt drives are dash and dash. A. Flat and compound b flat and v belt c compound and rope d crossed and open the correct option is a 
flat and compound. Question two. Belt drives can be used in dash. A. Motorcycle. B. Sewing machines. C. Bicycle. D. Tricycle. The correct option is B. Sewing machines. We've come to the end of this class and we're able to know that drive mechanism has to do with the transmitting of power from one point to another without any reduction and they are classified into belt and chain drives. Thank you and see you in our next class.